Hey guys, it's Sly2015 here. I'm going to do a Anno 2070 Let's Play. It's a really cool game. In general, I have played a little bit, but I am trying to keep most of my, you know, spontaneous thoughts and review of the game technically to you guys. So I am do not I do not have internet right now. I um I am in a very remote location right now, and I do not have internet connected to this. So. But I do have the actual game with all the missions, the campaign mode, and the campaign mode has three chapters, and the chapter one has four missions, which I have played mission one, just so I don't look like a total noob, I'm probably going to play mission two and then record it, and so on and so forth throughout the entire game, so I know at least a little bit of what I'm doing. Um, you have also the continuous game mode, which is pretty much just going and building the entire time. It's not really, uh, you know set for you, there's no really, um, I don't know, uh, structure to it, it's just pretty much go trying to build your own thing, and I have not went very far into it, I've gone far enough where I uh, know there are quite a few really cool features in the game, and some things that I really want to look for, I'm really looking forward to in the actual campaign to see how they integrate. You know, say so for single missions, you're pretty much you're playing the actual mission of here, instead of the actual, instead of going through, playing continuous, or going with the actual campaign. Um, you can join multiplayer games, it's a really cool game, uh, feature, but, like I said, I do not have internet, so therefore I do not have, um, any multiplayer. The biggest thing I'm, I'm kind of bummed about that I do not have internet, which I hope I can get it before the end of the videos, and I'm going to show you, is that you have a, um, a senate, I believe, it's a senate and a world corporation leader or something like that, it's a president or something like that. And you can vote. Um, I do not exactly sure I have when played this game on, uh, with some internet before. I'm not sure what the uh, president world president thing was. It does. I've not found a thing. Found any um, help? You know, any benefits to it? But I have found benefits to the Senate. If you vote at the Senate, you will you will get a bonus to whatever you are doing um, throughout the game. So that's a really cool thing. And as far as I can tell, I've voted a couple times, and so far the, the best uh, person to vote with is the Eden Initiative. For some reason they have like a most like, you know, productivity kind of thing, and then you have like your uh, scientists which give you a bit more um, research and stuff like that, and then your uh, industrialist group which is more of a, you know, um, eco whatever, eco the environment isn't degraded as much as you use the uh, um, uh, industrialist uh, buildings which is like you know um, coal mines and coal power plants stuff like that which really degrade the environment in the game um, but other than that let's get started I have like I said I've already played one but I'm not going to load it I'm just going to show you guys going right through the beginning Mission 1. You travel to Site 13 on behalf of Global Trust Incorporated to assist in the execution of the two year plan. Fulfilling the two year plan will at last bring me the prestige with Global Trust that is my due. Okay, pretty much what it is is you're going to this island. Uh, this is going to be your island, it's more there. Island Site 13 over there. And. They have to increase the output of electrical, of a dam on here, a hydroelectric dam. And you're trying to help them out with this. And let's get started. I don't want to give too much away in the very beginning, so let's go. I really like the mechanics of the game. Um, uh, let's see. The graphics are really good. I mean, I have a laptop. So I'm using this on a laptop right now, so the graphics will not be amazing on here. But it is still pretty good I mean even with the laptop it's still good I have to, I had had to take some things off because of um, for the sake of frame rate but the it's still pretty good so here you are at last Thor Strindberg you've already had the pleasure and in view of the situation, I suggest we dispense with further formalities.
the water in this game is actually a lot better than it uh, is portrayed right now. But for the sake of frame rate, like I said before, I had to, had to degrade it. So I'm going to shut up during these uh, cutscenes. Okay, I have the um, the volume bit mixed up on here, but that was pretty much telling me that they need more electricity, and they're via a brand new you will be a brand new the turbine, um, redesign. turbine, which this is talking about right now. So. Got it. Okay. Okay. First things first. Registry let's get a. Oh, Eve request. is here. She's the AI of the, the Ark. Now loaded. And. In an in introduction, she said, "You can trust her always, no matter what. She shall By be your way, friend." By the way, Global Trust sent you a care package. The crates are in the way here, so pick them up immediately. Yep, cool story, bro. Um, but you have this uh, like a cyber fog that ascends over any unexplored terrain, and as you can see, in a quite large circle around my arc, and I have do have a I ship, it's the warship, and it's called the Goliath. The names are generated randomly, online. so it, like I play uh, the first mission I played is like Loading the dolphin or something. But um, I guess it wasn't. It, it's just kind of uh, the names are kind of generated quite weird, including the islands. The islands are interesting. I mean, they're cool names, but they're just not very um, normal names. And this is their site 13. There is the uh, the. Um, so damn that we have to work on and they produce as you can see a lot of coal, oil, and energy. I mean a couple of plants. Anyway, so I have to take my warship over to his warehouse. Let's zoom in so you can see his warehouse. There is his warehouse right there. I need to take over here. So I press there and we're gonna go into trading and I'm gonna get Scan enough things to oh, and oh forgot this. Another cool thing is once you find an island, if you can find the actual coast of an island it will automatically be revealed for you. The entire thing shall be revealed. That's a really cool feature just because you don't have to actually go around and try to find everything. So, now you can see At the last, entire island. Can we now move on to the next point? Yep, we sure Good. can. There's a small island to the southwest. Go and build it. Yep, he wants me to build an, uh, a warehouse on this island. So let's uh, already have the select this, so come down here. And it's about right there. Let's go build a warehouse. Um, the mine, let's see what's about the mines. The mine's actually really cool. This one has coal and iron though. There are, there's coal, iron, limestone, uh, copper, and uranium. I think those are the only ones. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. But, um, and the really cool thing, I like the forest. Like again, my it's not the highest quality, but there is like animals walking through the forest. And the trees will get cut down later when you're actually using lumber mills and uh, that sort of thing. But do really cool things, and uh, the more that your environment uh, rating goes down, the worse that it'll get. But right now, I mean, what's this? I haven't seen this. Oh, he mind type. Yeah, I just showed you guys those. Anyway, it does not show me a environment thing because I have not built the warehouse. So you press the little button down here, build the warehouse, and I'm gonna zoom out real quick. Oh, okay, good. I thought I built it for a second. I'm going to try to make sure I don't have any of the uh, mountain to the south in there. So I'm going to go about right... Oh. Perfect. Ah, uh, darn. Oh, well. It's fine. It'll work. Uh, too much of a noob with the touchpad. Anyway, so... And these are the uh, construction menu. You have your infrastructure with Eve. And you have your specialized structures with your faction. Let's go build a city square somewhere. Let's do it about right. I don't know, it looks about right, about right there, don't you think? Warning, good. insufficient accommodation. Okay, and I gotta build houses, but I have played this before, so I'm going to build a road first. Roads are very important in this game. Obviously, they allow. Oh, now it's way off. Oh well. Obviously, they allow for um, the pickup of your resources as you build them. And uh, your tycoons 
especially need roads, and they connect them to the community, in their opinion, if, you're, if they don't connect them by road. Oh, fail. Um, now play someone where I wanted it. But the cool thing about this game is you uh, can delete an object, and you get your resources back. There is no penalty for building something on accident and then deleting it. So you can just delete it and put one right back in with no penalty to you. Really cool feature. Really like that. Warning. More building materials required. Loading cool. information to so, supplies. I'm going to need more building modules, which is very important in the game. You'll find you need a lot of these. I'm going to build a little offshoot with the roads so they're not too close to me. Go to E. The road. We've got it all here. Let's do model of this. I can see where I'm going to take it. Let's take it just straight out for a little bit. Alright, that's good. I'm going to put all my industrial things over here, so... Now, to get the building modules, you need a, a basalt crusher. I had basalt, basalt, correct me again if I'm wrong. I do not know how to pronounce that word. Um, I think it's basalt. Not for positive, though, so... Oh, can't build over there, so I need, I would need another dep uh, depot over there. And I can build right there, though, so... Anyways, I'm going to build two of these. They only want you to build one, but I have played this game, and I'm going to build two of each. Just because it gets so much easier to do this in the game. Oh, come on, that's not very fair. Of course, I'm going to build right there. Uh, it's really depressing, because they haven't given me uh, the depots yet to build. That will lengthen my building area. Oh, well. Okay, now we have an energy shortage, so... And look here, we are having negative one energy. Which is not that bad at all. I mean, you'll not... You'll find that these will not work to full capacity, though. It says... It will be 80... Oops, going down right now. But... And it's really... It's kind of weird. It says the uh, production plant's productivity is reduced to 83%. Is reduced to 83... Oh, never mind. I guess I said it right. I read it before, and it said, um... Is reduced by 83%, so instead of being, you know, 17, it would, but it's still going up to 83, but it looks like they corrected it in the latest patch, so that's cool. Um, as you see, they are crushing up the basalt in the ground, and you have your productivity. Um, and these are your units, that's only uh, units you have left in this area, I've been building two, because even though this mission and the entire chapter is not that long, you'll find that they really have to do some expanding later in the game and I'd really rather have um, have a good strong base because every time you play on a map your base city is actually kept over so as you play um, well, that's kind of retarded, I've already done that you can see I've connected everything to the road if there's green on it, there's roads on it oh, well, let's just build a nice little, let's just around Let's make a little like a park and just surround them, just to make sure we you know um, no discrepancy around this. Let's just oh, not necessarily what I wanted, but okay. Okay, let's just totally surround this dude again, just to make sure that nothing can be disputed. Now I still don't see why it's the same we need to road to connect them. Because they're definitely connected to this thing right down there. Huh. Well, I really don't want to make another road. Oh, I see the problem. They're really, really true. There's, I don't have anything going behind. Oh, wow. I feel retarded now. Oh, well. Now it's connected. Morning. Food shortage eminent. And now there, these tycoons like to eat fish. And the only way to get fish is by put, sending them either in the harbor itself or right on the sand. You cannot put them back here, you have to put them right on the beach. Food supply ensured. Problem so, I'm going to build two again. That eh, There's going to be a lot larger population throughout this uh, chapter of the campaign. So, let's grab some turbine parts. I can see what the problem is with this turbine. Nothing we can't fix once the other problem is solved. Of course, you can only fix everything, can't you? Okay, let's go find the. This is the turbine construction site. Go click here and find out more about it. I would have started work long ago, but obviously there's not enough energy to get the plants into operation. You now I have negative 13 energy instead of negative Scanning one. Energy supply. Conclusion. Four. Recommend countermeasures. 
Oh uh, yeah, thank you. You just make me feel so good about myself. I have a horrible energy supply. But there is a way to fix it. And the way for the tycoon is whole. We have our rotary excavator. Big cool thing that looks awesome even though know, it sort of pollutes the air. Horribly pollutes the air. But still it's like a rotary. there we go. That's what I mean. And then if you have a power plant. Now these work really good in unison because as soon as the rotary excavator um, pulls the coal out, this needs exactly one coal, so it just feeds right off each other. Perfect, but uh, you only need one for one. And I think it produces 40 energy. As soon as it gets them, it should be I think it produces 40 once it actually gets some um, coal. That's the thing work. We're going to have got 5,000 units of coal. We've got an email here. Now this guy's going to come in, grab it. It's really weird. It almost looks like tractors. Futuristic tractor. He brings the coal plant and they start. And let's say the productivity should come up. But I think the, uh, the max is 40. Not positive. Uh, make sure. A cool thing is you can speed up this game. You have to hold the button when you do it, but you can speed up the game. So very, very easy to um, just let everything run. You let up your, you can keep your uh, economy working really nice and good. Oh, oh, our lives not um, 40. It's actually going up even higher. 100% is at 60. So one whole energy produces 60. Uh, I have one coal power plant, sorry. These are 60 energy. But as a huge hit to eco balance. Uh, eco balance is um, uh, directly affects the fertility of any growing thing. And right now, this uh, uh, want that's, that's another weird name. Last one's like Anion or something like that. Anyway, I can uh, farm tea and vegetables on this island right now and then the question mark is I can actually introduce a fertility to this island so if I ever get some seeds or anything like that I can actually um, introduce the fertility now this guy has been blinking at me for a while let's check out what engineer Pearson has to say I have already read this he does not say anything which is kind of depressing because it would be easier to explain to you guys but in a nutshell what he's trying to say is that without testing on the new turbine, the dam could actually break and could get totally destroyed. And that'd be good because um, that dam is holding a lot of water back, obviously. So, um, he's just saying that the testing could take just three days and it would not be that hard and he could have it in. But. Sender of mail located. Okay, we gotta go talk to him. Hold on. Hydroelectric power plant. We're going to talk to him at the hydroelectric power plant, which is up here. You see, see, it's holding a lot of water back. So. So, you received my message. If the optimized turbine is installed before testing, the results could be disastrous. I'm powerless, but maybe Mr. Strindberg would listen to you. Okay. Now. So we have to actually use the move of the commando ship, which is our little warship thing we've been using. We have to move it up and over to his warehouse again. Talk to him. See what happens then? Let's speed it up. Accelerate. Yes, yes, Peterson again. He senses danger everywhere. The decision has been made to use the new turbine, so take these materials to the turbine construction site. And of course, Mr. Sturmberg, which I'm starting to not like at all, says, no one cares. It's fine. It'll work. So, Mr. Strumberg is not the nicest of men. But, you know, who cares? I'm sure that'll play a part eventually later in the campaign, but right now, it doesn't really matter. I just gotta get this little town up and running. Transferring information. All I do is just click it and it automatically gives the steel agents. into my harbor. My uh, warehouse, technically. My little thing and then that can be used for the turbine what's doing here they We're got a lot of work done, done on the here, turbine but mr strindberg just keeps piling on the pressure without more workers we'll have to be that 
cool. optimal number of skilled workers. For the turbine. And we need more workers. I have 11 out of 15 workers right now, and I mean, barracks, sorry. I have a lot more workers. Let's check the population. I have 88 people right now, so, but I need 15 barracks, which are these little buildings here. So, construct. Build another road. This little stubborn thing over here. And one, two, three, four, eight. Oh, what can do from here? Let's start right there, looks right. So, let's bring it in here. And build the houses. Oh, you just press wrong button, sorry. You gotta press the tycoon button. A little housing. And let's build some houses. I am registering progress. Congratulations. You're saying we already got stuff done. We do work here. Anyway. Did you follow my instructions to the letter? Yes, I did follow your instructions to the letter. You can pick up the turbine. It's really kind of weird because the turbine is huge. Is this turbine in here. supposed to double the power plant's energy output? We'll see once it's installed. Peterson, get to work. Time is money. Okay, Rusher. Cutscene. End the mission. Woohoo! Stop whining, Peterson. The tests can still be carried out later. As soon as that turbine is installed, the power plant must be brought to full power. To full power? Without testing? Sheer madness! The structural integrity of the dam won't be able to take it. The load buffer is down. The mounts are breaking. We have to get out of here. Everyone out! Hello. Peterson, what have you done, you idiot? You and you alone are going to answer to Global Trust for this disaster! Wow, way to go, Sternberg. Playing the blame game here. Anyway, that's end of mission, so... You have won! Got all my stats. And two missions overview. It took me 19 minutes to play this game. Ending the current game. So I will see you guys back here in a little bit to play Mission 2. I'm probably going to play ahead just to make sure I got this. Rate, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, so I hope this will be start of a very nice long relationship with you guys. I'm going to I said there's four missions in number one. There's also um, two and three. So I have seen someone. I have played up to, I think, the second mission in chapter uh, campaign chapter two so once we get there after that i am totally learning as i go so see you guys later have fun